Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And in today's power move, I'm gonna share with you two really powerful shortcuts where you can use the control or the shift key and your mouse to help out with your view navigation in SolidWorks. Ow. So the first shortcut I'm gonna show you is using the control key and your middle mouse button to pan. And this is one that I use a lot in sketch mode. So here you can see I'm in a new part. I'm gonna begin a new sketch. And I'm gonna create a line here that goes over to a distance of 220. And this is exactly the scenario that comes up where I can really benefit from knowing this shortcut. You see that line is now terminating off screen and I wanna quickly bring that back on screen so that I can input the height of the next line. The next line is gonna be a vertical line. And so what I can do is hold the control key on my keyboard and then hold the middle mouse button on my mouse here to hold control, hold the middle mouse button and then drag and this is the shortcut to pan in SolidWorks. Holding control and pressing the middle mouse button is the shortcut for pan. So now I can come up here maybe to a height of 55 and then I can close this thing off and I've created my nice fully defined sketch. But the point is that holding control in the middle mouse button made it easy for me to move that sketch back on screen or maybe move through a sketch that has a very long aspect ratio. You can move through that by holding control and pressing the middle mouse button to pan. Now here I'm in an assembly and of course there are applications in the assembly as well. For example, let's say I'm zoomed in on this corner and now I wanna go down and work on this control panel down here. Well, once again, I can hold control on my keyboard, press the middle mouse button for pan and that lets me quickly navigate through my assembly without having to zoom out and zoom back in when I'm done. So very, very useful shortcut control plus the middle mouse button is a shortcut for pan in SolidWorks. Now the other shortcut that I use a lot is shift and the middle mouse button. And you know, when you roll the wheel in SolidWorks, that lets you zoom in and out, but sometimes you can't quite get the assembly or the part model to be the right size relative to your screen border. And this is where holding shift and the middle mouse button can be really handy because it gives you a little bit more of a, a dialed in zoom setting. You can see here, you can really get exact with the zoom setting. And where I use this most commonly is, you know, I need to create a rendering or I might even just want to do a file save as PNG to create a presentation or drop that image into a PowerPoint. Well, being able to hold control and just kind of drag the assembly around to pan it and then being able to hold shift and middle mouse button to zoom the assembly really, really allows me to get that dialed in and get the view just right. So what do you think about those shortcuts? Control in the middle mouse button to pan, shift in the middle mouse button to more accurately zoom. Did you already know about these shortcuts? If so, are there any places you use them that maybe I'm not aware of? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you're enjoying this series, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to share this video with a fellow SolidWorks enthusiast.